Now our country is said to be broke. Please take it from me, Senator. Nigeria is not broke. We are made broke by the government and the policies of the government. One, and I'm just going to give you a few examples where we can raise over a hundred billion dollars in six months, and people are wasting our lives. The government has said that fuel subsidy is gone. Today, it's now been admitted that in the last one year, 5.4 trillion has been sent on, spent on importing fuel subsidy. 5.4 trillion. Two. And why are we importing fuel? Because they collapse our refineries. But the refineries will come on board very soon. Dangote refinery will come. We are also partners of the Dangote refinery. Nigeria is said to have own 20% because when Dangote had problem, Nigeria took a loan of $2.7 billion and gave to Dangote. But beyond that, the land, very expensive area, not a dime was paid for it. They call it free economic zone. You take my land, you give it to somebody else. They have not paid compensation when caught. Two. All the machinery were imported. Duty free. The entire machines were imported under the uh, MFLA. Official rate. So when they say 20%, we are still going to sit down when that refinery takes off. What is our actual share in that refinery? <laughs>